Bara My så... friends are so depressed. Är det så de <laughs> Ex-girlfriend call me up Alone and desperate on the prison floor They want to give us all the kiss <laughs> For being sad Shit! Wow! Welcome everyone <laughs> to Morning Metal with Ola and Louise. And what an intro! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, do you have your coffees with you? Hello! Will it chug mug? Will it mug? Oh. <laughs> Coke zero in the morning, what? You might be wondering what the f*** are you guys doing right now? And uh, I mean, this is, this is a new one for us. If you watch the latest Sunday with Ola, that uh, we're gonna try and experiment and uh, uh, I don't know, just do something else. I'm kind of getting bored with Sunday with Ola, so, you know, same old, same old. And, you know, people like same old, same old, but, you know, I want to be happy while I'm doing my videos. And if I feel like, oh, don't really feel the inspiration, let's just switch it up. And uh, also I figured it would be nice to take a little bit of vacation this summer so we can do more of this, <laughs> you know, and uh, be with our kids other than, you know, being current all the time. So we can pre-record this. So, yeah. Welcome to Morning Metal with Ola and Louise. How about that? Number Did you one. What? Number one? Did you expect that? No? Great. So what the hell is Morning Metal with uh, Ola and Louise then? Yeah, I think it's uh, sort of similar to the Sunday with Ola. <laughs> it's basically Sunday with Ola on a different but angle. And more segments. Louise. And a little bit different, just saying. It's, yeah. it's just a, it's, it's another angle. Same uh, but we, we do have a couple of ideas of different segments that we're gonna, we're gonna show you in today's video. Uh, I think the most important one that we're gonna start off with is that we're gonna talk, and this has me excited, because we're gonna talk about subgenres of metal. And we're starting with death metal. So this is gonna be a complete shit fest because when you talk subgenres genres of metal, you know, if you say something wrong, people are gonna cancel you. So, Sorry. so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a problem. And then also we're not only talking about that, we're also doing Ola tasting shit still. O Ola and Louise tasting shit. I have to rename the segment. Uh, also uh, unboxing shit. Basically gifts from members to us that we unbox on the show and uh, also uh, we have a couple of other Swedish word of the day is back yes. and uh, some other metal and guitar related things as well so there you go these are the hosts it's Louise England and Ola England the sidekick the, the sidekick she, <laughs> the sidekick. Uh, she just became a sidekick <laughs> and uh, what was that intro that was not death metal that was rather chili peppers right there still good St still good it's a good album it's with Dave Navarro uh, in my opinion the good guitar player of Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that's gonna cancel me right there because everyone's <laughs> gonna say Jean Frusciante is the uh, the correct guitar player for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Well, Dave Navarro, you know, Tattoo the, tattoo yes. the Guy. Tattoo? Tattoo the... Tattoo, tattoo guy. Inc. LA Inc. LA guy. Uh, which is a little cringy otherwise. He's an incredible guitar player. And uh, for that album, it's the most melodic Red Hot Chili Peppers ever did sound like. So, Red, One Hot Minute, favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers album. A lot of the uh, Peppers fans hate that album, but I like it. It's my favorite one. And uh, I mean, it's like with every other band. Yes. Like you have your favorite record. Exactly. And, and talking about subgenres of metal. Holy, f we're starting off with death metal. How about that? When I say death metal, which band do you hear? I don't know. <laughs> Good start. So okay. Uh, death. Obviously, it's when we talk metal. about death, is a thank you. Death. The band yeah. Death. Yes, band exactly. Death. Uh, that's a good uh, mention right there. Now, when we're going to talk about this, obviously we're going to talk about, you know, relatable things that are relatable to us. And uh, not necessarily, if we don't mention your favorite death metal band, we're sorry. <laughs> we, we can't just please everyone in this no. morning metal show. But we are going to talk a little bit about uh, subgenres of death metal. Uh, when I hear death metal, I immediately think, I think the first band that I think about is uh, American. Death metal. So we have Florida Morbid Angel and Cannibal Corpse. That's like yeah. that's as I hear the word death metal, that's the bands I think of. But then there's also Swedish death metal, you know, like Dismember and uh, Entombed 
and even to some extent also at the gates. But yeah. then we have another problem. As soon as you start to talk about other bands, we're venturing into other subgenres. So yeah. with at the gates, that's metalcore, and that's where metalcore started. So okay. it's it's tough. You, you can't discuss this without stepping on someone's toes. No. But uh, I wrote up a couple examples. So we have Swedish Anton, by the way, left hand path. Uh, rest in peace, LG uh, LG Petro, by the way, who passed away this year. But uh, actually, I haven't listened that much to Anton. Okay. Okay. This is, I mean, they're like deaf and roll in a little bit. They very groovy, and uh, they were kind of like the part of the first wave of uh, Swedish death metal, like Stockholm death metal. Because there's also a difference between <laughs> Stockholm, death, like if we go into details, you know, Gothenburg death metal, Stockholm death metal, Dismember and Entombed are Stockholm death metal, okay. if anything. And uh, you know, at the gates and uh, all that stuff is down. Uh, down, in, the, in, the, in, in that other town that no one ever <laughs> mentions. But yeah, Entomb, Left Hand Path, immediately caught me. Uh, that's the first song I thought of. If you listen to it today, I mean, this is, when is this from? Like 2000, uh, this is from 1991. And you listen to it today, and it's just so incredibly current. And yeah, uh, it sounds modern still. It still sounds modern, and you know, for me, listening to this, it's like, this makes me proud. It sounds incredibly Swedish, you know? And, uh... The sound is really sharp. Yeah, very HM2, uh, you know, it's just awesome. But let's head over to the next band, and uh, that is Cannibal Corpse. And I picked a, a newer song for this, uh, which is called uh, Code of the Slashers. I mean, Cannibal Corpse have been very... I not seen the video. No, it's, yeah. <laughs> you don't really see that many uh, death metal videos because no. it's not really that cool to... It's basically, you know, it's probably someone with a knife, most likely, <laughs> and blood and stuff like that. Zombies. But Calvin Corpse is just one of those bands that, I mean, started early, just kept going, and they're just not changing up their sound too much. They're, they're just brutal, Them true sounds? death metal. This uh, Bloodbath also death? Bloodbath is also death metal, I would say. That's a good Swedish band as well. They come, came a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, we also have Morbid Angel. And I picked this this song, Blessed Are the Sick, from the album Blessed Are the Sick. And... Uh, it's a bit heavier. It's a little bit heavier, but I mean... It's Trey Isagatu, guitar player. And uh, David Vincent on vocals, which has a very distinct death metal voice. This sounds older. This sounds older. When is Blood? When is it from? 91. So around the same time. So correction, Left Hand Path by Entomb was made in 1990. So Entomb, that I think sounded a lot more modern yeah. than this, actually. That came a year later. So it's, it's funny to see because back in the day, you didn't really have the internet to influence each other. So, you know, these kind of grew on themselves. A yeah. little bit, and now you can't really say what's Swedish death metal because there's like a tenfold of uh, American bands that sound Swedish yeah. and, and yeah. vice versa. So it's really interesting. Obviously, Morbid Daniel, Cannibal Corpse, like that was that's probably like the, the mainstream death metal. That's bands that you know of. But if there's a death metal band that has been the, like the death metal band that has been the most important to me in my musical career that probably shifted everything. I was listening to, to grunge, right? And, you know, all that stuff. And we're going to cover grunge in another video, okay? Later. The later video. Uh, but Bolt Thrower and For Victory. I was playing Warhammer. I talked about this before, but I was playing Warhammer with my friends. And he said, like, you know, check out the band Bolt Thrower because, you know, it, it's the gun of Warhammer. <laughs> and uh, uh, I was like, oh, sure, man. And I heard For Victory and, you know, I remember I was just so blown away by the sound because it's just so uh, it's so brutal and dark compared to what I was, what I was listening to, and uh, it basically this album right here made me listen to metal like for real. Yeah. This is '94. I was 13 years old yeah. probably. So and you went from grunge to this. Grunge and punk, like Swedish punk, yeah. to this, and after that I haven't looked back basically. Yeah. And. Uh, I remember my first two, like, I was listening to Live, you yes. know, and then... The I, band Live. It's impossible to live. Google this band because, yeah. no, because it's a terrible name. But uh, um, then I had a friend that was a really big Metallica fan, mm -hmm. 
And he was playing the black album Sad But True, mm -hmm. and I was lost. Mm -hmm. I was like, this. That was the album that, that got you Sad into. But True. That got me into metal. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, obviously there's a lot of other bands that we need to mention. Like Malevolent Creation is a very important band for me as well. It's also one of those 90s. Like the 90s death metal, man, that's where it's at. Uh, yeah. But, just as to take a spin on this uh, discussion, I also asked one of my members to suggest a new band, a new death metal band that I haven't checked out. So we're going to okay. check it out together. Yes. And this band is called T <laughs> Tomb, Tomb Mold. <laughs> Impossible to read uh, the logo. Obviously, unreadable uh, logo, <laughs> but that's part of the deal right there. Like a, a bush. Yes. <laughs> Infinite Resurrection, 2019. A little bit... Um, Chaotic. No, but uh, in, in a blanket. <laughs> it's in like, a blanket, yeah, that's a, that's a good term. But you know what I like about it is that it sounds like a, a 90s death metal band. Yeah. It doesn't sound modern. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm an older guy now. We're, we're both 40. <laughs> we appreciate old stuff now, and I understand this. I love this. You know why your parents are still stuck in the exactly. 70s oh, music? Exactly, or... exactly. They're like, oh, why are you listening to this bullshit? You know, <laughs> yeah. this is shift music if you compare what I grew up with. But, yeah. but it was because I grew up with this, man. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, Tomol. I'm definitely going to check out more of that band. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's us discussing the subgenre of death metal right there. What? Sad quiet. There you go. Oh, I forgot to say, early Sepultura, man. Shit, we have to listen to a rise. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, Sepultura got to me early too. Yeah, but Sepultura, Beneath the Remains, like, incredible album. I bought it in Spain, I remember, when I was younger. And uh, that was the first uh, kind of taste of Sepultura. And then they become something else. They become almost new metal. Yeah. But, I mean, early Sepultura, Beneath the Remains and Arise are absolutely incredible. I mean... Fucking hell. This is... yeah. <laughs> Whipped and cream. Yep, with the cream. <laughs> All right, so another thing that I started, uh, I wanted to start with the Sunday with Ola, but it came kind of like, uh, it was, I just didn't get it as often because we don't get gifts that often. <laughs> we do get, get gifts, but <laughs> sometimes uh, we don't. So we're going to start a segment where I, uh, where me and Louise get, get gifts. An That's unboxing. An unboxing uh, from members, basically. And of we anything. Have, of anything. You can order a dildo from Amazon and, you know, <laughs> Whatever, man. Just don't, 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 no, nothing dangerous, please. Uh, anyways, this is not from a fan or a member or anything. This is, lo and behold, from Futzer. That's my favorite chocolate brand. Somehow, you know, I've been talking a lot about my favorite chocolate and all the tasting shit and all that, and you know, Futzer blue and all. And somehow they seen one of my videos or something, and somehow yeah. they figured out my address because I haven't, uh, no. I haven't, and you haven't gave given not anyone that I know the address. Of. No. But they found my address, and they've sent us a package. With something. From Carl Fatze, the company. I mean, I'm excited. They acknowledging me? That's enough, man. I guess. And Ima we have no idea what it is. No, we have <laughs> like no idea what it is. And I wonder if there's a, a good angle where you can see, oh shit, I, I'm... Excited? The fuck is this? <laughs> excited? <laughs> With a question? And it's sent from Helsinki. Oh shit, what, what the hell is this? Oh wow! Whoa, oh, what? Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> what the? F they made a chocolate for you. Holy shit! Is this real? It says Ola England on it. Ola England's, and at the back, Ola and Louise tasting shit approved. Enjoy. Will it chug? What? That's uh, someone. Holy that is watching. shit! Someone has been watching us, and there's a letter. Hey, Ola and Louise, keep up the great work and have fun tasting shit. Best regard, X. Who? Who? Who the fuck is that? Who's X? <laughs> but it came all the way from Carl Fatzer himself. Absolutely incredible. My favorite chocolate <laughs> has my name on it. I have two bars. I can't eat these. <laughs> I can't. Thank you so much. Uh, shit. That's the unboxing. Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh. <laughs> Got the Kelsten <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? 
<laughs> there somewhere. I think the whiteboard is too big. <laughs> no, we're gonna make this work <laughs> without destroying any guitars. So, Swedish word of the day. So we got a lot of requests for uh, b people missing the Swedish word of the day. Uh, yeah. in the FAQs and the Sunday with Olas. So we figured we would boot that up. I mean, all these segments will kind of be mishmashed uh, in between different uh, Morning Metal shows, I don't know. But we're starting <laughs> with the most obvious, we're doing a recap. Let's say that. We're doing okay. a recap of some of the best Swedish words that have probably been on here, but that are uh, important. Okay? Yes. So we're starting... And we have new viewers. We have new viewers. Here are uh, a great vocabulary of words uh, that you need to know. We start with the the uh, uh, the most obvious one, which is uh, a fart. Fart. What does fart mean? I mean, in Swedish, we say fart. Fart. Mm -hmm. So the T is like a t, like an English T. Fart. Yeah, fart. Yes. And uh, that is speed. Yes. So it's speed. Like okay, let's. We want to uh, go really fast. Fart. So it's speed. It's speed. <laughs> fart. Then we have this word, cook. <laughs> Which is uh, translates to uh, chef. Yes. The chef at the restaurant is the cock. Cock. As Kocken. we say. Cocken. Yeah. The, the cocken. The cock. Yes. The cock. Kocken. Exactly. <laughs> and next word we have uh, slut or slut. Yeah. Which the, means the end. Uh, it's not the end of the show just yet, but that's the <laughs> slut right there. And then last but not least we have this, which is what we are gift. It can be two things. Exactly. That's the thing. That's why we're taking this. Uh, gift. We're married. That's yes. the word for it. It can also be and uh, mean poison. Yeah. <laughs> so in Swedish, being married and poison is the same word. That's heavy. Yeah. And it's not a, a gift for someone. No, it's not a gift. It's poison, basically. So there you go. Swedish word of the day. Take those words. Use them with care. Please be careful. <laughs> with them. Okay. Don't spend them all at once, as we say. Okay, so right now we're gonna experiment a little bit. I mean, all of this that we've done uh, so far in this Morning Mel show is, uh, you know, pretty standard. But we're gonna change things up. Because we're doing a segment called Pedal of the Day. Guitar Pedal of the Day. What? What is this? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have to just first say that I... I don't have uh, like an experience. I can't even play the guitar. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to. Uh, I mean, you don't all want the stuff. Yes. I don't know anything. She about basically the has stuff. no knowledge regarding guitar gear. So you need to know I mean, this. A little bit in guitars. But obviously, you're helping out with solo guitars, so you need to know yes. a little bit about the guitars. But everything the else, pedals. you have no absolute clue uh, what it is. So we're gonna have a pedal of the day segment where Luis picks a guitar pedal from my pedal uh, rack over there, and yep. then I'm going to play that pedal. How about that? So, right. so go Let's ahead. Do it. All right, so Louise is going into the other gear room that I have, and she'll pick a pedal. Okay, so, hmm, there's a small blue one in here. What's that? Oh. What's this? Sugar Drive. Oh yeah, that's a good name. Let's do that one. What did you find? Sugar Drive MXR. Okay. Why did you pick this pedal? It was blue and nice and small, and it fit my uh, my colors today. It does fit your colors. <laughs> it was a nice color. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, if you would pick a horse, you would look at the color, I guess. It's just like in Ghost of Tsushima. I definitely picked the color, like my horse, after the color. You picked the white one? Right? I picked the white one because I know it's the, you know, the, it's the one with the lowest rank. Yeah. And, you know, I like to respect and show the, the lower rank some, some uh, love. The underdogs? Yeah. But then, then eventually the, the horse died. <laughs> because oh, that's no. a part of the game. The horse, is, the horse dies. They don't live that long. Yeah, no. And then I picked a, a brown horse because, uh, I don't know. Politically correct, I guess. This is the sound without the sugar drive engaged. And now I'm engaging it. Everything on 12 o'clock. Do 
Do you hear a difference? Yeah, it's like scratchier. Scratcher is a good word. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set it like any normal human being would, which is like a, a, a tube screamer, sort of. Okay, can you hear the difference now? Off. Do you care? A little bit. Do you care? <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> <laughs> the first question. Awesome. This is like uh, maybe a uh, hundred bucks, hundred euros. Hundred euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's still uh, a little. Yeah. A little, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a little, yeah. No, I mean, that that was the MXR sugar dry I picked by uh, Luis. Do uh, you remember how you got got it? Uh, no. No. <laughs> it's probably sent to me by MXR. Question of the day. Uh, we're also doing questions because uh, you know we're just trying to fit everything into these segments. Uh, so we take a question every week. Where, and we answer it, basically. And this one is from Jonesy. Jonesy is saying, if you two could start a business together that had nothing to do with music, what would it be? That's an excellent question. That's what? cool. That is cool. I mean, this business is more your business yes. that I work yes, in. Yes, exactly. So maybe if we would start something, it would be maybe something more that I want mm -hmm. to do? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, depends, of course. But we were I talking mean, about that pie business. Yeah, I actually had the idea of having uh, a cafe. Open like, up a cafe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and uh, have pie, mm -hmm. like um, lunch pie, like uh, what's it called? <laughs> what's the queen pie? Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, a little bit. Uh, uh, cheese and ham. Cheese and ham pie, pies and like, uh, broccoli. Shepherd's. Okay, sh no. shepherd's pie. Okay. No, that's something else. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, co no, uh, but uh, pies. Me meat pie and whatever. Right. Lunch pie with Lunch broccoli pies. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then also sweet pies. For dessert, basically. Yeah, like okay. strawberry mm -hmm. pies or blueberry pies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That would be uh, like a theme for the cafe. Now we're giving all but, this uh, away. You're welcome. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you can start your pie I can definitely, I can definitely see myself making some pies. Yeah. And serving some customers. Yeah, and you can choose uh, the coffee. Yeah, what kind of coffee we would have. It has to be a good. Yeah. Has to be good coffee. Good coffee. A good coffee and a good piece of like lemon cheesecake. Yeah. Is that, lemon is that, cheesecake. Is that a yeah. pie? It's sort of a, yeah, like a pie. Sort of a pie. Let's make it a pie. <laughs> lemon cheese pie. Do you have uh, another? Like a idea? business idea, yeah? I don't know. I just I just want to do something where I work a lot with the hands, I think. Like, you know, a okay. physical job. Maybe, oh, a dog shelter. <laughs> a dog shelter. You want a dog shelter? Yes. Think of, like, think about it. You get to work with awesome dogs all the day. Exactly. For, okay. You know, you do a good thing for the yeah. dogs and, and you only work with uh, dogs other than people because people suck. But dogs are awesome. <laughs> They, they it's just uh, love you. some kind of freedom to work with uh, non-humans. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying all the yeah, time. Yeah. I mean, think of it. It's. I can do that. Yes. Shit. Yeah. So dog like shelter and pie business. Ca pie cafe and dog business. They can go together. They can. <gasps> <Ooh. gasps> pie and dog shelter. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit. There you go. Question of the day. <laughs> All right, so that was the first Morning Mail show with Ola and Luis. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we have no idea how this will turn out, but we're, we're just giving it a shot, see what happens. And hope you like it. And we'll let, we just hope you guys like it. If you did not like it, let us know. Uh, if you liked it, let us know. <laughs> it goes both ways. Tell basically. us about it. So, uh, yes, exactly. Or if you have any suggestions, what do you want to see us do? Um, this is YouTube and not uh, YouPorn or Pornhub, so none of that <laughs> weird shit, okay? But uh, all the other suggestions we're looking through and uh, I haven't decided yet if it's going to be like an every week thing and maybe have like Sunday with Ola every other week and then a morning show uh, the other We'll just half. see. So we're, we're just going to see guys. It's, I, I, I'm a little bit excited, Yeah. you know? So let's just, let's just all be excited. I hope you had a good morning and Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.
Fan, det är så låg röst. Alltså, jag pratar ju... Men du pratar ju som att jag... Är... Det funkar. Så har den här. Men det är för att du är mer... Eh, vad heter det? Bekväm i den här situationen än vad jag är. Absolut. Så är det ju. <laughs> Ingen snack. Fan, vad långt ner du sitter. <laughs> Men du är lugn. Fan, vad ljus du är. Du är längre än mig. Sorry, I have to adjust the lighting for Louise. She's fine. She's like bright. A, she's so bright right now. Okay. <laughs> it's been winter. <laughs> Look at that. It's but but still. Why are you so bright? I don't know. Så kanske. Så där, kolla. Look at that. Like a little indirect light. So, I mean, you might be wondering what the fuck are you guys doing right now? <laughs> 